Well, hi there. It's certainly been a while. So yeah, hi again. I, mean, I say it's been a while. It's been about two weeks, but uh, what's happened in that time? It's good to see you. It's good to be back. I've been on holiday. Yeah. So you know when that email came in telling me that hey, if I didn't reach a certain amount of views by a certain time, then uh, they were going to take away monetization from my channel. Well, they sent me that when I was booked to go on holiday for a week where I couldn't and didn't want to do any sort of work like that. And on top of that, to give you a, an idea of the scale at which things are not going well for me right now, I currently don't have a job. Yeah, so I booked my holiday on what ended up being my last day at work, uh, simply because the business was unable to afford to pay me anymore so they had to let me go uh so my youtube channel has lost monetization uh because i have not been able to work on my channel for a week uh because i was on holiday and uh i can't even really focus on my channel now anymore because i'm currently unemployed and uh i am not successful enough on here uh just at all to be able to make this a uh, method of sustainable living, um, which is not fun. So yeah, I just came on here to update you guys and basically, or just mainly give you all of that information, but also I kind of just wanted to talk about my experience on holiday because it was fun. I loved it. I want to do it again. I want to go again. I went to Chicago in uh, Illinois in America uh, for my first holiday in what has to be about five years uh and given that the furthest out i've ever been on holiday is an hour that way <laughs> to skegness um good old skeggy uh is it, it, the distance was quite the big leap um but it was fun it was very fun i got to see some of the people i care about most in the entire world and i got to pretend for a week like I enjoyed being alive, but it feels like it has had a knock-on effect as to who I am as a person, and I know that sounds really cliche, you go on holiday somewhere, you come back a completely different person, but it feels true, and I hope it's true, because I want to be a different person, I want to be this improved version of myself that I think I've become after this, but it was really fun, we got to see the art museum, the space center, we also got to see uh, the not the Natural History Museum, it was uh, the Museum of something. And we were supposed to go swimming too, but uh, we kind of ran out of time on that one. We played Dungeons and Dragons, I got to DM for the first time ever, in person. So, first time DMing, and first D&D game that our group has done in person. And I did a pretty good job of it too, which I'm very proud of. And I feel really dirty rambling about that part, but it was fun! It was fun. It was fun and I loved it. I got poisoned, which was quite interesting. You see, one thing that you kind of either forget or don't, depending on your worldview, is that in Chicago, edibles are legal. And they're not over here where I'm from. Weed is just still illegal over here, which is, you know, come on, get with the times. But I got poisoned. And I mean that quite literally. You see, I'd never done anything like this before. And since it's legal, they sell it in shops over there. So I told the cashier, hey, I've never done THC before. What do you recommend to someone that's never done this before? And do you know what he said? He said, why don't you try these? The, uh, I'm holding an invisible packet. Why don't you try these? Two gummies, a thousand milligrams, which for those that don't know, a thousand milligrams is a lethal dose. That's enough that anybody, even experienced weed takers, would go into like this this heightened state of anxiety and, and it would not be fun for basically anyone to take that much. But I thought, you know, sure, fine. I've never done this before. You're recommending a thousand. It must be fine. And it's two gummies. So they're probably not both a thousand. No, in capitalism, they're probably 500 each. I'll just take one. I get to the hotel and it's one gummy inside of a packet that says that there's two. So I take the whole thing. And, you know, edibles are really for tripping 
balls. They're not for relaxing, they're for hallucinating. But what I saw didn't feel like a hallucination at all. It just didn't. And I know that's, again, the stereotypical thing to say. It's, oh, what I went through was so spiritual and it was real and I, I've opened my mind to the wider universe, but it's just... It feels like it was real. It was real to me. And it, I've come back a changed person from it. Put simply, you want to know what I saw on my trip? Everything that I saw, every voice line, every detail, every moment, was something that I had seen already in a dream when I was five years old. And I don't mean that as part of the trip, I mean that outside of the trip. At five years old, I had a dream in which everything that happened inside of that trip happened to me. And I remember at five years old, when the dream ended, I died. I died of a heart attack. My heart sped up, I panicked, I called out, I think I'm having a heart attack, I think I'm having a heart attack. And then I had a heart attack and died. This time around, that didn't happen, clearly, I'm still here. Um, but it genuinely feels like, just for a moment, because I prayed to literally every deity. I called out, hey, if anything can hear me, help, please. And it feels like, for that moment, whatever actually happened, to me, it feels like my five-year-old self and my 22-year-old self somehow merged for that moment and we helped each other survive we helped each other live but it's wild i remember it down to the tiniest of details to the street signs that we passed it was like everything was in 2d is the best way i can describe it it was like everything was a cardboard cutout of the world everything was in 2d and it was moving in 3d space like you might create a parallax effect in vfx but I remember the, the, the ambulance driver asked me for my name, and at five years old, I answered the drifter. And I was so confused in my own dream, because that wasn't my name at the time. But I get it now. Everything I said, I finally get it. I, I answered my age, 22 years old. At five, I was not 22 years old. Boom, mind blown, I know, but that, that's what it was like. And at the end, I didn't die this time. I could feel my heart speeding up. I knew I was close to having a heart attack. I could feel it. But this time around, I had extra memories. I had extra experiences. I had a reason to continue living. And in that moment before I was about to go into what I assumed to be cardiac arrest, because I could hear the machines beeping behind me, I pictured my friends. And that calmed me down enough to not have a heart attack and to wake up in a hospital bed however long later before they put me back under and I got wheeled home. But apparently the whole experience took about 10 hours total. Not the trip, but like the hospital stuff. It was a very interesting experience. But yeah, no, I'm definitely a little more spiritual after that ad ad adventure. And I'm also a little traumatized. <laughs> There are still certain phrases and images and ideas that I can't have without getting a sense of panic. My heart rate went up to 180. And that wasn't even at its highest, I believe. I believe the 180 was just the baseline that my heart rate was at during this whole adventure. I could feel it beating in my chest. Sometimes whenever when I'm talking about it now, whenever I still mention what happened, I can feel my heart start to ache slightly, uh, which is concerning. Um... But yeah, that's that's my experience with edibles, never doing that again. I think I'm just going to stick to the old British tradition of destroying my liver. Thank you. But yeah, that's where I've been for a week. I've been on holiday, and I wish I was still there. I, I don't know how to explain it beyond the fact that just getting to be somewhere else, not here, made me feel so much more alive. And I can't wait to travel again. I also got to see Denmark, but that wasn't as impressive. That was more me walking for four hours from the airport because I didn't have taxi money. In gothic boots that were also high-heeled stompers. I still have blisters on my feet from that. I'd show you, but it's the internet. But yeah, so I don't have to worry about monetization anymore because they've already taken that away from me. I'm on my way to earning it back, I think. But uh, until then, you can expect to see the regular flow of 
content, or regular flow of content that I, you were getting before I went on holiday. Um, I think if I'm timing this right, I should have just put out episode 28, which was a doozy to finish editing. Longest one. I've edited in a while. And believe me, I was trying to cut it down. But yeah, that's about it. It's more of just a general update than anything sad. Uh, I've applied for a universal credit while I'm waiting to get a new job. Um, I've got my interview for that tomorrow. Well, now that's going to go. Especially with today's job market. Oh, I tell you what, though. I, I really hope I can get a job soon because... I just want to start saving. I don't want anything anymore. I don't want to buy anything. I just want to start saving. Because the sooner I can move back over to America, the sooner I can be closer to all my friends, the sooner I can actually just be happy, I think. And the sooner that happens, the better, because, I mean, who doesn't want to be happy? But yeah. That's everything I've been going through. That's... That's where my life is at right now. I'll still be working on this place when I can, when I've got the time, because, you know, unemployment means I'm going to be looking for jobs. But yeah, in case I don't see you, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.